Charmander's origins are based on the misconception that some salamanders are born from fire, its name being a reference to this folklore, char meaning to burn and mander a shortening of salamander. Charmander broke the continuity of the television show when it appeared in the episode No Way Out. As Ash and his friends were crowding together for warmth in a snow-drenched cave, he used his Charmander to help provide heat with the flame on its tail. Only, at this point in the series, Charmander had already evolved once into Charmeleon, then again into Charizard. The mix-up came as a result of an airing issue thanks to the dubbing of the Japanese show into English. Although it was confusing for audiences, it was still nice to see our old friend Charmander one last time. Those who remember choosing Charmander as their starter in the original red and blue versions also probably remember the difficulty they had dealing with the first gym leader, Rock, and his Rock-type Pokemon. Charmander in the original games learned no highly effective moves to deal with the Rock-types and thus the battle was an uphill struggle. This is probably why, in the updated Fire Red and Leaf Green versions, the trainer's starting Charmander actually learns Metal Claw when it reaches level 13. The Steel-type attack gives this Pokemon a much greater tool against the notoriously tricky Rock Gem. In the anime, Ash's Charmander uncharacteristically starts to disobey him when it evolves into Charmeleon, continuing this behavior for much of its Charizard stage. This is a direct tie-in to the games themselves, referencing a mechanic which causes traded Pokemon to disobey their trainer's orders if that trainer isn't skilled enough to tame it. In the show, Charmander isn't technically caught. Ash finds it abandoned by its trainer and convinces it to join his team. Since it was never captured in the traditional sense, and it still harbored fears of its abandonment, it lashed out when its level exceeded Ash's ability to tame it. Eventually, Ash reached an appropriate trainer level to reliably battle with his Charizard. Still, it's an awesome connection between the games and the television show. While being pictured with wings and gaining the type flying, the powerful Charizard, at least in the original red and blue versions of the game, is incapable of learning the move fly. However, this was changed for the yellow version of the game. Yellow version was designed to bring players an experience more in line with the ongoing television show airing at the time, thus the Pikachu walking around outside its Pokeball. As Ash was able to ride on the back of his own Charizard and fly around, the Pokemon was able to learn fly in the yellow version. Everyone agrees that Charizard looks remarkably like a dragon, despite it lacking that specific typing. Nevertheless, Charizard is able to learn numerous dragon-type moves in the game, including Dragon Claw and Dragon Rage. When Mega Evolutions were introduced, Charizard was finally given the dragon typing while in his X form. Surprisingly, despite dragons going so harmoniously with fire, only two current Pokemon share these two types one being Charizard X and the other being the legendary Reshiram. Another will be joining us with the release of Sun and Moon, however, with the introduction of Turtonator. 